David here, welcome to BTEC. Sorry, this is gonna be a very rough and ready video. I've just been at the launch of the Mate 30 series. Do you think possibilities? Here it is, the new Mate 30 Pro with its waterfall display and its quad camera system which features two now features two 40 megapixel sensors we have a, the ultra 40 megapixel cine camera we've got a wide super sensing 40 megapixel camera as well 8 megapixel telephoto as well as a 3d depth camera goes all the way up to 409,600. we've also got around the front there's a lot of tech i know people are complaining a little bit about that notch but there is a lot of very nice technology inside the notch. We've got a 32 megapixel front sensor as well as a, another time of flight sensor. But there's also a gesture sensor there as well. So you can actually control this device without touching it at all. So you can swipe to um, scroll, you can swipe up and down to scroll or you can grab, uh, use a grab gesture to take a screenshot. As usual, let me say a big thank you to Direct Mobiles. 24 years of award-winning customer service. Well worth a look if you need a new phone, even if you're after the Mate 30 Pro. Check them in the video description below or search directmobiles.co.uk. It has a strange, unusual 18.4 by nine aspect ratio, which makes it feel a little bit squarer in the hand. It's got uh, the sort of squared off edges, similar to the P30 series as well, but I absolutely love this waterfall display. Software-wise, it is running Android 10 based EMUI 10, although on this device at least, there is no sign of any Google apps, which is, well, we, that is something that we expected, but it's kind of disappointing. But at the same time, it's a really, really beautiful device. The back, we have the circular camera module, which I think is split an opinion amongst some people. Now that I've seen it in the flesh, I actually really do like it. Um, the waterfall display forces the power button to be placed onto the back, but also there's no power buttons or no volume rockers at all. So to get your volume rocker, it's a kind of a virtual thing. You have to double tap on the side and you'll get your volume rocker. And it works on both, both sides as well. I can't really reach around the edge. And it works on both sides of the devices as well, which is great. Internally, it has eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigs of onboard storage as standard. There's also two versions available. There's the normal version and a 5G. If you want more RAM or more power than that, then you have to go for the Mate 30 Porsche design, which has 12 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigs of internal storage. The design is actually quite similar to the P30 Pro, where we've got the sort of flat edges across the top and across the bottom. We have a SIM card tray across the bottom as well, which supports dual SIMs as well as a nano SD card, USB Type-C. One of the downfiring speakers is found there, and the other one of the speakers is similar to the P30 series, hidden underneath the screen. For the battery, we've got 4,500 milliamp hour battery, so plenty of power there. We still have 40 watt supercharging, although the wireless charging is now been up to 27 watts, which is actually fantastic for wireless charging. Can't wait to try that out. Altogether, it's a beautiful device. This one is the emerald green, and this is the only one of the series that has a type of frosted back, which is resistant to the fingerprints, which for someone like me is just a dream come true. Trying to wipe fingerprints off phones is something that I just, just absolutely does my head in, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying out the video performance. I'm just gonna see if I can turn up the resolution. We're at 4K and you can select the different frame rates down here. So we can select 4K for the first time on a Huawei. We can select 4K 60 frames per second. So we know the video capabilities are very impressive, but if we take a look at the super slow motion, Huawei have managed to up, this, up the speed to give us a 256 times slowdown, which equates to over 7,000 frames per second. Now, I can't wait to try that out. That sounds amazing. So. A review device will be landing on my doorstep very soon, so make sure that you're sub to be. And follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll be putting lots more up with the Mate series. Thank you for watching. My name's David. This is BTEC.